So welcome, welcome, welcome again to Digital Preneurs. I'm so happy to see you guys again as usual. It's Hassan Balix here at the Digital Preneurs uh, with some exciting news about uh, UTM links. Yeah. So uh, as you know, I had just shared uh, uh, an in-depth uh, video on how to use UTM links to track your uh, your traffic sources in Google Analytics. Okay. So. Uh, Bitly has just done something amazing. Uh, they have also introduced a tool that uh, can help you generate your UTM links much, much easily. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take you quickly through how uh, how to use Bitly to generate your UTM links so that you improve uh, your traffic. Uh, tracking yeah in your Google Analytics yeah you'll improve how you track your traffic sources in Google Analytics okay yeah so uh, before I get into that as you know previously you had to generate uh, your UTM link and then it was a very very long link and then you had to look for ways of shortening that link either going into bitly or looking for other uh, URL shorteners but now you can do all that in bitly so let's get into bitly and so that i show you how to do that okay so all you have to do is come to this page uh, your bitly page uh, if you have a gmail account or you have your twitter account or facebook account or apple uh, apple id you can uh, log in using that or sign up that's in case you don't have your bitly uh, you don't have a bitly account yet uh, if you don't have a Bitly account yet, then you can click sign up and then sign up with your Gmail account. However, I already have a, uh, a Bitly uh, account, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in using my Google. Okay, so let's log in quickly. Okay, so let me choose this account here. I have uh, two Gmail accounts. Uh, one is for digitalpreneurs, but for now, let's use uh, the one for... Uh, uh, Balik's. Okay, so as you can see, I al I already have a number of uh, <laughs> of Bitly links I had created in the past. Uh, so for those of you who don't know how to use Bitly, uh, a quick run through. Uh, this is where you get a preview of of your link. This is where all uh, on your left you have all the links that you've ever created. So once you click on a link, for example, let's click on MailerLite webinar. Uh, I have a webinar about uh, how to use MailerLite. Uh, so here it shows you, uh, it gives you a preview of that link, how that link is performing. You can copy that link and then uh, paste it maybe in your social media and market that link. You can share it directly here, uh, share it to different uh, social medias, or you can edit it or make it a redirect link, but that requires you to upgrade to start paying Bitly, okay? So uh, quickly we are going to create a, uh, we are going to create a UTM link inside Bitly, okay? Instead of using the Google generator that I shared with you in the detailed UTM uh, tutorial, for those of you who haven't uh, seen that, uh, you can check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description, okay? So uh, here, all you have to do is uh, to create your UTM link, all you have to do is come to the create button, go to the drop down, and then click link. Okay, so once you click link, they will, uh, it will open a panel on your right hand side here where you can input your long link, where uh, the direct link where you want uh, people to go, maybe your sales page, your opt-in page, or your blog, whatever it is. Okay, so let's go get, uh, let's go get my link. So this is my opt-in page uh, for my email marketing hacks. So let's get that link copy it, copy that link, and then go back to Bitly, and then paste it in there. Now, once we've pasted that in there, now, uh, where, where shall we, if you remember from the UTM tutorial uh, that I shared with you, uh, uh, here you have to put in the source. Where are you going to use this uh, UTM link? Okay, so let us say I'm going to use it, uh, already it's showing mailer light. Uh, let us say it's going to be in uh, in a MailerLite campaign, for example. Or let's change. Instead of doing MailerLite, let us say I'm going to use it in a Facebook ad. So I can say uh, FB ads. Okay. I'm going to say FB ad. Or actually, let's say 
Facebook Live. Facebook Live. That means whenever I go live and I want to talk about I want to talk about my email marketing hacks, uh, this is the UTM link that I will use. So the medium, let us say this is going to be uh, organic. Maybe organic Facebook. Since it's not an ad, it's not uh, an ad, it's going to be organic uh, FB. Organic FB. A uh, campaign uh, e-marketing, this is going to be email hacks. Okay? So, now that we have that, we say create. We click on the create button here uh, in the bottom right corner. Now that it has created that, if you look here, uh, it's still the long UTM link. However, we want to give it a title so that we can easily identify it within our Bitly account. Okay? So let's name it, uh, we could name this uh, uh, email hacks Bitly UTM. You can also customize this. Uh, however, I can, I can leave it as is for now. So let's click save. Okay. So now that we are here, as you can see, email hacks bit.ly UTM, it's that long UTM link. The actual link uh, stops around there and then the UTM parameters are added on there. Okay. So then we copy and then the shortened uh, bit.ly link is that one. So you copy that and then use it wherever you want. So let's copy this and paste it in the browser so that we see if it works. Okay, there you go. So that means uh, our link works to perfection, okay? Uh, so let's check out our analytics to see if it will tell us, uh, if it will show us that the traffic is coming from a Facebook Live because this link was made specifically for when we are doing Facebook Lives. Let's check our analytics. So when we go to Google Analytics, already it shows us that there is one person active. That's me, of course. Uh, there's one person who is active right now. Yeah. So let's go to real-time views and then uh, click on uh, the traffic sources. So traffic sources. Okay. So at the moment, I'm live on the website. As you can see at the moment, I'm live, one person, yeah, and then the medium is organic FB, and the source is Facebook Live, okay? So, yeah, that's basically it. In case you want to go in depth uh, when it comes to UTM uh, links, I have another video. I'll leave the link in the description. I'll also leave the link uh, for the bit.ly uh, link shortener. Uh, URL shortener in the description for you to begin using immediately, okay? I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, th uh, this tutorial. Uh, you can also get in and begin creating your UTM links so that you track your traffic sources much easily. As usual, it's uh, Balix from Digitopreneurs saying at Salavista. Bye-bye.